she is going to be a regular visitor on Craftomaniac and on the YouTube channel. Yay! And she's fun and perky and she's my girl. And I'm excited. Yeah. So, Bella, tell me what we're making today. We are making these cute, so cute pencils. What is my favorite? And we have a whole bunch of them. We'll kind of just show you a little bit of them because we had so much fun making these. So these pencils are super cute. <laughs> we love them. And Bella took one to school even. And her girlfriend, her best friend, just had a fit over them. And a bunch of the other girls, excuse me, asked to have some too. But you don't have to just make these cute yarn pom-pom pencils. You can make these cute little pom-poms on a stick which is basically making the pom-pom and then hot gluing some hot glue down here and sticking the pom-pom on it, holding it, and you have this cute little face pom-pom display to put anywhere in your house. And you could also make a cute, tell them Bella, garland, pom-pom garland. And this we have hung on Bella's mirror in her bedroom, it looks really, really cute. And if you just want to make some fun pom-poms, just some cute ones, just for fun to put in a cute dish, go for it. So I'm going to show you guys how to make your yarn pom-pom, and you can put it on a pencil or a stick like I showed you. Bella's working on hers, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tutorial. You can start with four fingers for larger, three for about medium, and two for small. I'm going to start with three fingers. So I'm just going to grab my yarn, hold it with my thumb, and I'm just going to start wrapping. sharp scissors, snip that, pull out some extra yarn, snip that, then you're going to take your yarn and you're going to shove it through your fingers and I know this probably looks dangerous but just carefully push the yarn through like so and then grab it, pull it through Grab the other end, pull it through your two fingers, wrap it twice, pull that tight, as tight as you can get it, and then slide it off your fingers like this. Once you slide it off, you are seeing a bundle. Pull that section in the middle down a little. So it's in the center, and then pull tight. Once you have it tight, you're going to flip it, and now you're going to tie it twice. One, two. Some people save the tail to tie to garlands, but I snip it off because it actually drives me crazy and gets in my way. But if you can do it without any problems, then you can leave the tail. Now you have your bundle. You're going to start by cutting your loops. Just continually go around cutting your loops. Sometimes you have some stragglers, so you just want to kind of go through it and look. Once you have this kind of messy palm, I like to take it and flatten it, kind of like a pancake, like this. Pancake, a patty. And now you want to hold it with your thumb and your pointer finger, and you're just going to go around and cut. You're giving your palm a haircut. Can 
continue this and you can clean up your mess when you're done. It can be messy, but it's a fun messy, so I don't mind. So once you have it basically cut, you can kind of open it up, shake it, this. shake it, and then you'll see that there's still some scragglers. Am I saying that right? Stragglers, scragglers. <laughs> and then you'll go ahead and you'll just trim it up a little bit more. Once you get the formation, you're just going to take your hot glue, which I don't have it plugged in. I'm just giving you an idea. You'll hot glue it. So you have your glue, or we're pretending there's glue there, and you're just going to stick your pencil there. And once you do that, you'll hold it and press it. And when you're all done, they look like this. And that's it. <laughs> we hope you liked our yarn pom-pom pencils. And if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Thank you.